So this video is a correction on chapter three, D-Day number three, problem number four. Um, I made a mistake with my diamond originally. I was thinking 72 instead of 42. So I'm gonna just restart this problem so that we have the right answers here. So on this one, um, 2x squared plus 17x, and I'm going to bring the 17x over, plus 21 less than or equal to zero. Then I want to do a box and diamond. I have my 2x squared and my 21, <clears throat> which multiplies and gets uh, me a 42x squared, has to add to my 17x. That's a 42x squared. I think I, I was thinking of it as a 72x squared the other day. I don't know why, but it, I was thinking about it. So 42, and I just, um, to think about the 42, six times seven is 42. Um, six and seven don't add up to 17. Let me break six down. Six is a two and a three, and then I have my seven. So I could try 21 with two, but that won't give me 17. I can try 14 and three, and that actually is going to give me 17. So I'm going to have a 14x and a 3x. So let me put 3x, 14x, and then I need to find the outside. So the way I have it set up, the 2 is going to help with the 14. x is going to help with the 3. So 2x times 7 and x plus 3. So my factor should have been 2x plus 3 times x plus 7, um, less than or equal to 0. So then I'm going to have x is equal to a negative 3 halves and x is equal to a negative 7. Those are going to be my boundary points. So negative 7 would be here, negative 3 halves would be on this side. It is, um, looking at the inequality, it is um, less than or equal to. So the equal to part is what I'm focusing on right now. So that means that I'm going to have a closed circle at negative seven, a closed circle at negative three halves. And then I want to think of this as a positive parabola. Those two purple dots on that line, that number line, representing kind of like our x-intercepts, that's where x is zero. I mean, when our, when our um, not our x is zero, but our y is zero. So if I draw an open up parabola, I want where it's less than or equal to zero. So that is going to be in between here. And so I'm going to be shading from negative seven to negative three halves. Okay, so again here, this would be above my x-axis, which would be above zero. This would be above. And here, this is below, and that's what I want. I want it to be less than or equal to or below. So that's where I'm going to shade in between negative seven and three halves, negative three halves. Okay, let me just get rid of that. That was just to help me. That This is going to be my graph my answer is going to be negative seven less than or equal to x less than or equal to negative three halves. So I just want to make that clarification for everyone. 